Yeah, 1077 GNA, Albany's number one for New Country with Brian and Chrissy in the morning. And uh, we're happy to have back in the studio with us, uh, Jeremy Warnick. Good morning, Jeremy. How are you? Good morning you? to you, too. I'm doing pretty well. Now, this is the second or third time we've had you on our show. And what are you, 14 now? Yes. And you go to Shaker? Uh, yes. By the way, how about Great Shaker? Great little citizens of <laughs> Shaker, huh? Seriously. Between <laughs> the Yankees pitcher, Tommy Canely, Mariah Formica, and now you, it's like uh, the triumvirate, the three of you. Theirs are... is a little bit more impressive, though. I'm not no, that cool. No, yours oh. is too. You, hey, you are very cool. Listen, uh, what you're doing is amazing. You've got hats giving, right? Which was a concept you came up with a couple years ago. When tell, you were eight years old, by the way. And what inspired you? And, and tell us more about hats giving. Well... When I had come up with the idea, I had shaved my head for St. Paul Dricks a few years ago, and I realized that, well, your head gets really cold, especially in the winter, and that the kids undergoing cancer treatment need to deal with it more than I do, and that we needed to do more than just raise money. Yeah. That we need to do did you at the time? Else. Did you know somebody when you were eight or nine? No, came I, up with, no. I didn't know anyone with wow. it, but I was. I just wanted like you would to think that's how, how how the story right, would start. Right. You know, I had a friend like of mine, a friend, yeah. but just you just that's where your mind went. You just started thinking about you know sick kids with cancer. Just about yeah, and and so over the years, so so you went to your mom and you said right, your mom was a knitter or, or uh, she made hats. Yeah, she made hats. Uh, she made them for me every year for St. Baldrick's. And How's her hat? Does mom make a pretty good hat? She makes a pretty good hat. Yeah. That's impressive. Solid what hat. What kind of a hat? Like, what would she make for you? Um, She made like hats that were not quite beanie, but like a nice warm, like, winter hat. Yeah. You know? Right. Crochet. Because so, I, cause I, yeah, cause I crochet. thought it was kind of like, oh, mom's That's made nice. me all these hats. I don't wear them. Who can I give them to? <laughs> 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 but that didn't happen. Mom made some pretty cool hats. Yeah, she makes some good hats. And you put, so did you put mom to work or were you like, okay, let's branch this out or let's make mom make all the hats? You probably like, put mom to <laughs> work and then she both. was like, let's see if we can like uh, raise these hats in other mom ways. Mom was like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> so you put mom to work. Mom's tired of knitting, right? She's got other <laughs> things to do. And then what? You decide, Jeremy, to, uh, to you know, maybe put the, have these drop-offs or invite people to donate hats, right? Yeah, so the first drop-off location was actually at my elementary school, and we collected uh, 226 hats wow. that first year, and it's just grown since wow. then. We've been able to put more smiles on kids' faces. Yeah, well, not only that, Aww. but, like, but but keeping their little heads warm, like 6,000 hats you've deli- delivered since 2013. And what we're looking for is uh, it's a new soft hat, either store-bought or or handmade, unless you're Jeremy's mom. She's done making hats. <laughs> <laughs> She's passed the torch. Um, and the, the hats are going to be uh, distributed to cancer patients uh, at the Children's Hospital at Albany and like a million other hospitals that you've gotten into as well. So That's did they reach so out great. to you to um, to get hats because they saw what you were doing? How did that well, happen? Well, last year we reached out to them because with LIDS donating 860 hats, wow. we really needed more than just like the five that we previously had. Okay, so we got hospitals. about 10 more last year. Okay. 10 more what? Uh, cancer treatment centers. Got it. And awesome. um. We haven't gotten any hats from Lids this year, so we really need. All right, well, here's the thing. We're going to. All right, ask let's people. do this. We need. Okay, so Lids, and, and this isn't a knock on them. They were huge, huge sponsors and a big part of it last year. So Lids, you know, they probably don't have any, uh, you know, New York Yankee World Series champion hats or whatever. <laughs> Sometimes they get these hats that are made up and uh, they don't know what to do with them. Um, if there's another, like, local business that either wants to make a nice, you know, dollar donations that you can go out and purchase hats or if somebody has new unused hats that they want to give to the cause how do they go ahead and do that jeremy i'm pretty sure if you have that sort of thing the address for where you would deliver those to is on the website perfect answer okay hatsgiving.org and in the meantime if you just want to make if you want to drop off a couple of hats however many you want you could find the various locations. They're at Sunmark Federal Credit Unions. They're at all the recovery sports grills, which that's I think amazing. is great. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Um, and a couple of other fitness centers and spas and salons and stuff like that. Excellent job, Jeremy, and happy it's Thanksgiving. so good to see man. you. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving to you. It really too. is. Such a great thing that you're doing, man. But we got we to gotta have more hats. And yeah. a big, huge dump-off would be amazing. Go to hatsgiving.org.